Hey, this is Asaf Levavi from LinkedInRef.com and it's time for another viewer request. And in this video, we're going to learn a fingerstyle arrangement I made especially for you guys and girls of I Started a Joke by the Bee Gees. First, I'm going to play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes. And then we're going to break it down chord by chord, note by note, with tabs on the screen as usual. First, it goes like this. Enjoy. Alright, so let's start with the intro. The intro is pretty much freestyle. Uh, what do I mean by freestyle? It's got four chords. It's D, F sharp minor, G, and A. And what I do is I play the bass note of the chord and then I just let my fingers create their own picking pattern. I just play the notes of the chord in any picking pattern that comes to mind. Okay, and then the same for the next chord. Any picking pattern works as long as you <coughs> sorry, as long as you're playing the notes that are inside the chord. So for D, you just play the first four strings, then for A, you play the five strings, then for G and F sharp minor, you play all six strings. You've got all six strings to choose from. So you just make up your own pattern. Any pattern works, even the simple ones. Again, you can, and you don't have to make it complicated. This song is very simple, very mellow, very relaxed. Just keep it that way. Spit it up a little, then spit it down a little, stop for a second, okay? Just diversify between picking patterns. 
And the more you try it, the more you'll find it comfortable and you'll find new patterns to use. You can also play the whole chord. Okay, you don't have to make it complicated, you can keep it very, very simple. In my opinion, in this song, the simpler the better. So D, F sharp minor, G and A. That's the intro, and it's also the verse. The verse has D, F sharp minor, G and A uh, all along, but um, we're gonna play um, a D5 at the beginning and A7 uh, right afterwards, uh, but technically it's D, F sharp minor, G and A, and the notes that we add are the melody notes, okay? So it's technically, this is A7, but there's no A7 in the song, there's A. But the melody is, okay? This was the wrong timing because I didn't know uh, where it was. Okay, so it was A7 for a second but it's not really A7, we're playing A. Um, this note is the melody. Okay, so that's the logic behind, um, behind how the finger style arrangement works. So you start with D5. Now this is D5, it's D with a, an added high A note, five on the E string. So what you do is you, um, what, what's going on? You um, you bar the second the second fret on the first, second, and third strings. Okay, you add three on the second string with your second finger. Then you add the pinky on the E. He's gonna sit back down in a sec. Uh, you you add the pinky on the E string on five. So you um, and then you have two, three, five. Okay, or five, three, two. Why do we bar the second fret if we're playing f uh, if we're playing five on the E string? We don't need to bar, right? Well, we do because the next line is gonna be okay. So it's you want to keep the chord going. That's why we bar. So you play this the D five. And then you play what I just showed you, two, three, five on the E string. Okay, and as with the intro, you can uh, play the backing up chord, the accompanying chord, um, in any way you want. You don't have to. Um, you don't have to be too elaborate to do that. It, sometimes just an extra G string would suffice. Okay, just the G string on two, so. Or you can play the bass note again. And then play the chord again. Again, it's up to you. You make your own arrangement. You don't have to play exactly as I do. Especially if I don't know what I'm playing. I'm basically just letting my fingers loose and I'm concentrating on getting the chord right and getting the melody right. The rest is pretty much improvised. Okay, so as I told you, just play the notes in the chord. You don't have to make it complicated. And then F sharp minor, and you have the entire rest of the bar to fill. So again, just play the chord in any way you want. Um, And then G, and you don't have to put anything on except for the three on the low E string, uh, because you play the bass, and then you play the second string open, you can harmonize with the rest of the chord, and then three on the second string, zero two on the E string, okay, so it's Okay, the melody is 
0, 3 on the second string, 0, 2 on the first string. You can do with the chord whatever you wish to do. Um, okay, see, you can add the chord. And then you bar the second fret, uh, again, up to the fourth string this time, because this is A. And the melody is 3, 5 on the E string, so you play... Okay? You play the A bass along with the chord and with 3 on the E string. And then this D again with the bar ready because you're going to add 5 on the E string and you've got this. You just play the chord and add 5 on the E string. That's the first line, D5 to D5. Okay, then F sharp minor, G, A, D5 again, actually D2, D5. So um, then you have F sharp minor and G to freestyle arpeggiate, um, or to arpeggiate freestyle or to arpeggiate in freestyle. Okay, um, any way you want. Okay, we're gonna go over that after we learn the melody. Okay, I'm gonna give you some examples. I'm gonna help you out. But for now, let's say that you've got F sharp minor and G, just the chords. Then zero three on the second string. Then A again. This time you can put on an A uh, in any way you find comfortable. And play strings two, three, and five. Okay, so it's then three on the second string, open E string, and then D, and you start by playing the melody note, which is the third string, so you play the third and fourth strings, because the fourth string is your bass note. Then you have the rest of the bar to fill on D, and then you've got F sharp minor and G again. Um, and then the 0, 3 on the second string and A again. Okay? And then you've got 3 on the second string again and an open E string again. And this time you play the D a little differently. You play the D chord. Okay? Because the melody note right now is this F sharp note. So. Then you've got the rest of the bar to fill, then F sharp minor, then G. And then, uh, by the way, on the G chords you don't have much time. You just have time for one or two notes and then you've got, okay, this, the 0, 3 on the second string, then A, which you play again, okay, for the third time, then again, 3 on the second string, open E string, and the third and last time you play D, and this time you play strings 2, 3, and 4, because the melody note right now is D. So this is uh, why the Bee Gees were such musical geniuses, because they ended the first um, iteration of this with this, the second with this, the third with this creating a D chord, okay? So the first time around, you play this. Second time around, this. Third time around, and you've got all three notes of the D chord. That's brilliant. Simple and brilliant. And that's the verse. You're done with the verse. So let's go over it. D5. And then F sharp minor, G, A, D to D5, F sharp minor, G, A, D, F sharp minor, G, A again, D again.
A again, D. And then you can play D, F sharp, G and A. And then you can play the verse again, if you want, or move on to the chorus. Or you can just play D and then move on to the chorus. Okay, that's an option as well. Now, the chorus. The chorus starts with B minor. In the chorus, we get B minor and E minor too. Okay, two more chords. Um, now, you start with this B minor. Okay, this is a B minor chord. Um, you bar the seventh fret up to the third or fourth string, whichever is comfortable for you to hold. Nine on the fourth string and your pinky on 10 on the E string. Okay, so we've got 10, 7, 7, 9. Okay, now this is B minor and we're just playing the high notes and we're adding this note which is an octave of this note which is inside the chord. Okay, so this is B minor. That's why the chord looks like that. And Again, the melody is this, uh, just 10 on the E string. So you've got the chord to freestyle on. Okay? Again, very slowly, very relaxed. Don't complicate things. And then 7, 9, 10 on the E string. Okay, you can play the chord again. Uh, for emphasis, and then F sharp minor, this time here, bar on 9, A minor shaped. Okay, and again, you play the chord and you freestyle on it because the melody note again is the E string on 9. And then 10, 12 on the second string, and then 9 on the E string again, so. And then this G, bar on 7, shaped like C, okay, with the bass note on 10. So now um, it's, again, the, um, he ran so fast, I was afraid I'm going to sit him down again. Okay, so the melody note is again 7 on the E string, it's the E string again, so just play the chord and you know by now freestyle and then 8, 10 on the 2nd string then 7 on the E string, okay, so then D this D bar on 5 a shaped and the same thing the melody note is five on the E string freestyle and then you just make sure that the last note you play is seven on the second string then F sharp minor but this time with a high A note which is exactly the same as this shape only this, okay, but this time we'll take the low F sharp note instead of this uh, F sharp note. We can do this, okay, but why if we have a lower bass note? Uh, just bar the second fret entirely, put your uh, pinky on five on the E string, and either play strings one, two, three, and six all along. Or add your third finger on four on the D string and you can play that as well and if you really want to add uh, your second finger on four on the A string and then you'll have the whole chord to um, to arpeggiate to freestyle on but this is really unnecessary in my opinion as long as you add this note it's fine um, okay, it adds enough uh, lower harmonies. Okay, um, and then two, three, five on the E string, 
and then B minor. Okay, two on the E string, that's our melody. Freestyle on the chord. Uh, but this time you don't have much time to freestyle on the chord. You only have half a bar. So... That's it. Then you take the first finger off, you leave the A minor shape on, and you play strings th uh, two, three, and five, and you get B minor over A. And then you play zero, two on the E string, so you get this. simple. Take the bar off, play it, play 0, 2 on the E string. Then E minor 7, you can leave the finger, the second finger, it's already on, on 3 on the second string and just play strings 2, 3 and 6 and just arpeggiate it. Or if you want Put E minor on, add 3 on the 2nd string, and you can play whatever you want. Okay? Whatever you want. And then, um, the E string again, and then E minor again with, uh, no, not the E string, the, the B string again, sorry. The B string again, open, that's the melody line. The next melody uh, note is another open B string with E minor, okay? So it's okay, B string, E minor with B string. Two, three on the B string. And the final chord of the chorus is A, and you pick strings three, four, and five, okay? You can leave it at that, or again, you can choose to freestyle on that as well. I think that this should be a breaking point. You should break, should stop, wait a second, then continue. Okay? So the chorus, again, B minor with 10 on the E string. 7, 10, 9. F sharp minor with 9 on the E string. G with 7 on the E string. D with 5. Make sure you play the B string last. F sharp minor with 5 on the E string. B minor. B minor over A. E7 then E minor again, okay, so A. Um, now without talking. Very simple arpeggios. for emphasis. Okay, you can slide into the 5 on the D5. Again, you can make your own choices here and just, you know, play it however you want to play it. It's slow and, um, and mellow enough to be played in various ways, in many, many different variations and styles, uh, as long as you don't overcomplicate it. Okay, so before you go, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. What have you got to lose? There's a ton of lessons on the channel already and I upload new ones, so keep updated. Click subscribe and join the Lick and Ref community. 
Go download the tab from the website. It's for free. The link is in the description. Everything on Lick and Riff is for free, but if you want to help out, there's a donation button on the website right above the tab. You can't miss it. It's a large blue donation button with donate right on it. Um, and everything goes right back into Lick and Riff, into making the arrangements, practicing them, perfecting them, uh, shooting the lessons, editing them, uploading them. It all takes time, work, and effort. So if you want to help out, I'd be very grateful for any donation you choose to make, and I thank you in advance for it. Go practice this, make your own arrangement of this, enjoy, just be very, you know, relaxed when you play this, don't try to show off, this is not a show off piece, uh, just play it, it's a very mellow piece, arpeggiate the chords, freestyle, and create your own arrangement. Enjoy, have fun, and I'll see you the next lesson, thank you very much for watching.